that one. Uh, now we get a round of interviews, pairing up, first of all, Ron and John. Uh, so if you'd like to come forward, Ron and John, and collect your stools, which you're going to be sitting on. Uh, what we want is Ron is going to be interviewing John, but John is going to be playing a character, uh, a mytho mythological or historical character, a famous person from the Bible or history. Can somebody suggest somebody like that? Hercules. I've got Neptune and Hercules. Uh, I can give a choice on that, John. Uh, Neptune sounds good, doesn't it? Mm. Neptune. So could you be... Um, <laughs> does it sound good? Could you be interviewing him for a literary magazine, Ron? All right. Okay, and away you go. Neptune, god of the sea, I'm so happy to have you here. I'm going to throw... You've worked with some great people in your time. I'm just going to throw a few names at you, and you just riff on them for me, all right? Come on, man. All right. Apollo... Well, the great thing about Apollo is he's a really funny guy. Um, I remember, I was down at the bottom of the sea once, and I was with a, a couple of seahorses, really funny seahorses. They got drinking a vodka for a bit, and they got really lashed. Then they made love to about 15 mermaids. It's really funny. <laughs> and, um, uh, anyway, but um, what's exciting about being under the sea is that you get pressure. You work hard, but you can... I've got to ask you about the sea. Yeah. I've got to ask you about the sea yeah. and the pressure. Would not your job be easier with a submarine? Yeah, but that's... <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's basically for uh, people who didn't really go for it. You know, what I like about going underwater, holding my breath for months and end. How did you feel... Great how did you... masculine thing to do. How did you feel... When Caligula, the Roman Emperor Caligula, yeah. attacked the sea and took the treasure back, how did you feel? Did you feel violated? No, I just felt like a bit of an arsehole sitting there with a pointy hat on, but apart from that, like, <laughs> nothing really, really sort of got to me. Because I was down there with a lovely girl, Annabelle. She's marvelous. Oh, Annabelle. She's a Annabelle. wonderful lasagna. Can you, and, last question now, please. Now, I, I, must, I must say to you, you're, you're featured in, in, in so many stories. Cosmopolitan. Yes, so many, so many stories. Yeah. I, yeah, I do. Why? I'm a god, so I can read your mind. Why? Yes. <laughs> and so, of course... <laughs> OK, end, end on that. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Le leave us... Le leave us... Thank you. Well, uh, that's, uh, I think, 15 points to Ron, and uh, it'll be 14 to John as a... Point deducted there for taking the stools away, which we need for the next part of this uh, <laughs> round, which is. Uh, do it. Yes, Paul and Jimmy are going to do oh, yeah, one now. But, right. oh, yeah. So, Paul and Jimmy would like to, to come forward. The anarchy is breaking out in this exciting part of the show. Um, so, uh, another character for Jimmy to pretend to be on this interview. Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary or Claudius. <laughs> the yeah, I think Claudius is a good one. You're a classicist, aren't you? Virgin Mary would have been quite good. Well, let's, let's not argue about it. Let's have Claudius. And. Uh, <laughs> Paul will be interviewing uh, Claudius in the style of a DIY magazine. <laughs> so, away you go. Now, Claudius, um, you have uh, been emperor for a number of years now. Um, how would you put together the mahogany bookshelf from the uh, <laughs> various components that we've shown our viewers earlier? <laughs> You'd use a drill then, would you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, would you... Well, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, um, Julius Caesar, I think, preferred mahogany. Uh, d d don't mention... <laughs> <laughs> Julius Caesar. OK. Um, <laughs> well, other sort of Roman emperors, they've looked at bookshelves and they prefer to make them out of mahogany. Now, you've gone for teak in this one. Could you tell I, us... I love... <laughs> I love teak. It's easy to wipe the spit off it, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I, I can't do better than give you 34 points each for that one. In fact, I'll make it 22. Uh, right, now we come to a round called World's Worst. That involves everybody in this, so if all four of you come forward on the World's Worst step. And there's a quick-fire round when you think of as many different examples of the World's Worst chat-up line. So away you go, as you think of them. Well, six pop doms, 15 curries, 15 beers, 10 o'clock. <laughs> uh, you don't sweat much for a fat girl. Oh, the eyebrows are drawn on, is that it? <laughs> Can I lie on top of you for 20 minutes? <laughs> uh, I need sex. Here's 400 pounds. <laughs> Actually, it was a quite interesting operation. What they do is they, is they, is they drill here, and all the, all the mucus comes out. 
Hello, my name is Cliff Richard. What I'd like to I just got out of prison. What about it? Have you got herpes? Do you want it? It stopped raining. Do you fancy nipping out to the car park for 20 minutes? <laughs> You're weird. I don't know if you know the songs of Gordon Lightfoot. I found... Shut up and let me talk, OK? I don't think looks are everything, do you? I'm an ugly bastard, but I change my underpants every day. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there, and I'll work out the points of that while we have a break away for some advertisements. See you after that. Bye. <laughs>